Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Beautiful Binary String. Alice has a binary string. She thinks a binary string is beautiful if and only if if it doesn't contain the substring 0, 1, 0. In one step, Alice can change a 0 to a 1 or vice versa. Count and print the minimum number of steps needed to make Alice see the string as beautiful. For example, if Alice string is B, 0, 1, 0, she can change any one element and have a beautiful string. Ok, let's see the constraints. So the length of the string can go up to 100 and the binary element contains 0 and 1. Let's see the sample input. Here the length is 7 and the string should not contain 0, 1, 0. So here 0, 1, 0 we can change this 0 to 1 and we can use a sliding window format. So we will compare 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1 and the last one is 0, 1, 0. Again, we change the last 0 to 1. That's it. We will return the count as 2. So here, they found uh, two 0, 1, zeros, and we change the last 0 to 1. Let's see another input. So here, 5. Here, there are no substrings like 0, 1, 0. So we need to return 0. And the last example. Here we have 3, 0, 1, 0. Uh, this is 1 and this is 1 and the last one. So we need to print 3. Okay, that's it for the examples. Let's solve the problems. Initially, B is in the type of string. We need to change it as a list. So B equals list of B. If we change it as a list means we can change some elements in the string. So next, we need to initialize count equals 0. To store the number of changes. After that we need to iterate the elements that will be for i in range of n minus 2 because at the time we need to compare three elements. So during the sliding window we don't need to exit the index range. That's why I'm using n minus 2. Now we need to check whether the pattern 0 1 0 is there. So if b of i equals 0 and b of i plus 1 that is the next character equals 1 and b of i plus 2 that is the third character equals 0. So if the condition satisfies we need to increment the count by 1 and uh, we need to change the last element to 1 so that will be b of i plus 2 equals string of 1 make sure you need to use quotations in between 1 so in the next iteration it should satisfy the condition here in the sample inputs we didn't see the test cases that 0, 1, 0 overlaps. Uh, let's say for the example 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So here 0, 1, 0. And again from the third character 0, 1, 0 is there. See this string and this string overlaps with each other. That's why we are changing the last character to 1. Okay, that's it for the whole logic. Finally, we need to return count. Ok, let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys. We solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for new videos. See you guys in the next video.